How do you handle disappointment? Hey, this is Angela Carter with Recruit.EarnMoneyWithAngela.com and if you're watching this video, you are looking for internet network marketing tips that can help you get results in your network marketing business. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you are using the internet to grow your network marketing business, but you're not getting the results that you want. So in this video, I want to give you two internet network marketing tips that can help you handle disappointing results in your business. How do you handle disappointment? How do you handle feeling disappointing, disappointed when you're not getting the results that you want in your business? I want to give you two ways, two strategies to handle it. Strategy number one is to view your failure as feedback. Here's what I mean by that. Um, I remember two defining moments in my life where I was very disappointed, very frustrated because I felt like I failed. Um, I used to be a licensed attorney and on that road <laughs> to getting licensed, uh, it was met with many challenges. The first one was taking the LSAT uh, examination, which is um, a standardized test that you take to get into law school. Well, I took you know, uh, the LSAT after investing, I think it was like over $1,000 in a uh, standardized test review course from Princeton Review. And I spent like a thousand dollars to learn how to get better because I was always, I always viewed myself as a weak standardized test taker. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna invest in training. I'm gonna pay a thousand dollars. So I, I did it, and I, I took the course, and I took the practice exams, and I struggled even while taking the class, right? And then when the exam time came, I got 145. Now the law schools that I wanted to get into were, uh, on average, the the people that got accepted got around a 160, 160, 165 to 170, I should say. Well, I'm 165 to 170. Well, I got a 145, which is very low. And I was very disappointed. And I felt like, man, you know what? I'm, I, I'm running into this obstacle, and it's going to stop me from getting to where I want to be, and that's frustrating. I don't know if you feel that way right now in your business, but I remember thinking like, man, there's just, I, I don't know what gives. I'm doing everything I could can, I can do. I don't know what to do anymore. Well, I learned one key thing. I learned that one of my biggest challenges and the reason why I struggled a lot in standardized tests was that I was very, I'm a very slow test taker, that my speed wasn't quick enough. So I came back and I learned, I went back and, and, and I said, okay, you know what, I'm going to improve my score. And I learned that speed was an issue for me. So I learned that in order for me to speed up and get quicker while I'm taking standardized tests is I need to take more tests. Because what was a problem for me was that I would get, a, I would, uh, the, the exam would run out and I would have a lot of questions that I did not answer. So I went back and I started taking nonstop, just constant, constant practice, practice exams, day and night, day and night. And my speed increased. And I saw my average score increase during the practice exam. So then it gets to the point where I was consistently getting like in the 150s. And I said, okay, this is, this. is I'm seeing improvement. So when I took the test again the second time, I ended up getting a 154. I raised my score nine points, which was not the norm because when I was considering taking the exam the second time, I read all of these, you know, research, uh, all of the research and all the statistics by the experts. And they were saying that on average, most people only increase their score by two points. But I increased mine by nine. And I did it because I did not get enough funk, and I, I, I wanted to, and I was almost there, and I almost stayed there. Where I was disappointed, I was frustrated. But what I learned was I had to change my strategy. I had to do something different. I had to learn what I was doing wrong. So right now, you may say, you know what, I'm failing. I'm not getting the results that I want. But what I want to tell you is that you have to view that as feedback. And your failure, your results, the, the, the you know, where you're at right now, where it's, where it's not where you want to be. It is feedback for you. It's, a, it's like a, a, a symptom that, well, wait a second, I need to change my strategy. View your failure as feedback that you have to now change your strategy. You say, okay, well, how do I know <laughs> what to do? How do you figure it out like I figured it out? Well, I had to learn from people who were experts. I had to go back and learn and say, okay, you know, what am I doing wrong? I had to go back to the drawing board, back to my, you know, that $1,000 course that I paid for. And so, the key is you have to get around people who are experts and invest in your training. Same thing happened for me in network marketing. I struggled for two years in network marketing, sponsoring five people in two years. And I got frustrated and I almost quit this industry. And I just almost quit just internet marketing, period. 
But it wasn't until I plugged into training, like you see on the website there at the bottom of the screen, recruit.earnmoneywithangela.com, where I learned so many things. I learned how to go from a newbie, someone who didn't have a lot of results, and how do you get from there to no results to leaderboard status. I ended up hitting the leaderboard of my company uh, last month by plugging into training and experts who can give me those distinctions. Because guess what? Experts are people who have gone through all of those challenges and all of those roadblocks. And because they've gone through it, they can help other people go through it as well. So that's my first strategy. Number one, view your failure as feedback that you need to change your strategy and then plug into training that will show you how to get over this roadblock, this barrier that you're facing now in your network marketing business. The second internet network marketing tip that I can give you on how to handle disappointment is you want to adopt an attitude of gratitude. Be grateful for where you're at right now, and I know it's hard. I know you're saying like, Man, I want to get to, I want to get beyond this point. How do I become grateful for me not getting the results that I want? How can I be grateful for failure? Well, again, we're not viewing it as failure now. We're viewing it as feedback, right? But here's how you can adopt an attitude. See, the reason why you're disappointed and the reason why you're frustrated is because you feel like your progress and your success is being delayed when the reality is your success is being accelerated. And that's not hype. That's not, you know, I'm going to pump you up and, and, and motivate you in emotionalism. But this is facts. Because like I said earlier, experts are people who, ha who have made refined distinctions. They have an ability to, to look at someone's situation and, 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 and their problem and give them a solution to help them get past where they're at right now to where they want to go. And the reason why experts can do that is because they know the terrain. They know the subject, the topic that they are handling right now because they've seen it all pretty much. They've seen a lot. They've seen a lot more than the newbie, than the novice. Well, what I'm saying to you is because you're frustrated right now, because you're trying things and it doesn't, it's not working, it's not delaying your success, but it's actually accelerating your success because it's making you a better leader. When you become um, a leader of people and when you now get into invest in that training, right, and, and learn from experts and now get to the place where you are getting the results that you want, this experience, what you're going through right now, the obstacles and the challenges that you're facing right now makes you a better leader and it makes you an expert. Because now when you get over this hurdle, when you get over this, this stuck place that you're at, when you have people on your team, they're going to be newbies and novices and they're going to go through the same thing that you're going through right now. And you have an ability now to help them get past this point because you have that experience. So. My friend, what I want you to understand is that where you're at right now is giving you the qualifications and the experience that you need to become a better leader because now you are able to guide other people through the same challenges. See, one of the things that frustrated me a lot in network marketing is having people, having people who are leaders who couldn't help other people get past frustrating points. They would just give them, you know, like, oh, just keep trying, keep doing, keep pushing but they couldn't give them the strategies to get from where they are to where they want to be and my friend because you are stuck right now because you're you feel stuck and it is driving you to seek out the answers that you need and it's driving you to take and make investments maybe in your education that you probably would not have otherwise made and because of that you are going to build and increase your skill and your knowledge and your experience and that is going to help you become a better leader and I'm gonna add this last point your ability, your ability to communicate as a marketer is going to be strengthened because so much of this uh, journey as a network marketer and as a business person, especially as a marketer, is your ability to communicate and relate to people. And people relate and they grab a hold to other people who, have, who understand their pain. And because you're going through what you're going through right now, you're going to have an ability to be able to communicate to that person and relate to that person who will be where you are at right now and be able to help guide them to where you're going to be. So I just want to give you those two strategies of how do you handle disappointment? How do you handle disappointing results in your network marketing business? Two internet network marketing tips is number one, view your failure as feedback that you need to change your strategy. And number two, adopt an attitude of gratitude. Understand that this is where you're at right now, but it's not where you have to stay. And understand that it's helping you become not only a better business person, but a better marketer and a better leader. Look, if you wanna be able to get past 
all of the obstacles that come along in building a, a network marketing business online. If you want to get access to additional internet network marketing tips that can show you how to leverage the internet and use the internet to sponsor people all online without picking up the phone. If you want to learn how to get people addicted to joining your business, get plugged into the training that I got plugged into. I got access to experts who could show me how to get past the stuck points in my business. You want to do the same thing, go to recruit.earnmoneywithangela.com.